discussing the next problem, let me introduce another concept to you. You must be aware of this, dear students. If three terms of GP are given, then always write the terms as A by R, A and AR. If five terms of GP are given, then write the terms as what? A by R square, A by R, A, A R and A R square. In simple terms, what I would love to say is, if odd number of terms of GP are given, write the middle term as A and extend the other two terms. For example, if the, if the number of terms given are 11, you can write as, see, middle term, sixth term, you can write it as, this is sixth term, write it as A, seventh will be AR square, right, like that, and fifth will be A by R, and so on. This is how you have to write if number of terms given are 11. That is concept number 1. What is concept number 2? Sum of nc0 plus nc1 plus nc2 up to ncn is given by 2 power n. For example, phi c0 plus phi c1 plus phi c2 plus phi c3 up to phi c5 is given by 32 that is 2 power 5. Let us say 20C0 plus 20C1 plus 20C2 up to 20C20 20 is given by 2 power 20. 11C0 plus 11C1 plus 11C2 up to 11C11 is given by 2 power 11. 8C0 to 8C8 summation is given by 2 power 8. This you must be aware. This the second concept whatever I have explained is the combination of both binomial theorem and permutation combinations. But I am sure you have studied this in your 11th standard. Coming back to the question, a sequence has 11 terms with 6th term as 2, then product of all of them. 6th term is 2, dear students observe carefully, 6th term is 2. What is 7th term? 7th term will be 2 into, sorry this is AR, 2 into R, 2R. What about 12th term? Sorry, 6th term is 2, 7th term is 2R, 8th term is 2R square. What about 9th term? 2R cube, 10th 2R power 4, 11th is 2R power 5. What about 5th term? That is 2 by R, 4th is 2 by R square, 3rd is 2 by R cube. Second is 2 by r power 4 and the first term is 2 by r power 5. This is how the sequence is. So now, a sequence has 11 term with 6 term as t, product of all of them. Product means it is a simple multiplication like this. Wherever you have comma, replace it with multiplication, you will get the product. Got it? Okay. Now, you can observe carefully, r power 5 cancels with r power 5 here r power 4 which is present here cancels with r power 4, r cube cancels with r cube here, r square cancels with r square here, r cancels with r, then what is this product? 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, how many terms are there here dear students? There are totally 11 terms. So, that is equal to, that is equal to 2 power 11. Do you agree with me? This summation is equal to 2 power, the product is equal to 2 power 11. So now, I have explained you this just now dear students. nc0 plus nc1 plus nc2 up to ncn is given by 2 power n. So we have 2 power 11, 2 power 11 should be equal to 11c0 plus 11c1 plus 11c2 up to 11c11 that clearly says option D is correct dear students. See how simple it is. Got it? Now let us go to the next problem. Students, before discussing next problem, let me introduce you one more concept. Sum of infinite GP. In the previous problem, we had really discussed concept based on infinite GP. 
which is the most familiar infinite geometric progression that is 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus so on that is equal to 1 by 1 1 over 1 minus 1 by 2 that is equal to 2 that you have studied in your 8th standard itself or maybe 10th standard if I am not wrong. And usually in an infinite GP it is always a reducing GP first term is greater than the second term and second term is greater than the third term and so on. See for example, infinite GP is equal to 2 means usually first term will be 1. Sum of infinite GP is equal to 2, usually first term will be 1. Infinite GP summation is equal to let us say 7, then usually first term will be 4 like that. So, that, that is a tradition usually we adopt to find out infinite geometric progression and of course, the formula is also very much familiar to you. So, by just trial and error we can find out the summation, we can assume few numbers and we can try to work out the problems. Let us try one such problem here, look at this dear students, in an infinite GP sum of first three terms is 7. If the extreme terms are multiplied by 4, the middle term by 5, resulting terms form an AP. Then sum of infinite terms of GP is option A 12, option B 4, option C 16 and option D is 8. The students you can observe here, sum of first 3 terms is 7, first 3 terms is 7, sum of first 3 terms is 7, right, T 1 plus T 2 plus T 3. Can you just guess an infinite GP or can you just guess a geometric progression where first three terms are 7? The students, it is very simple 1 plus 2, 4, 4, 1, sorry. The students, it is 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 4, 7. But not in that way. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. Do you agree with me? 4 plus 2 plus 7 because it is an infinite geometric progression and very importantly it should be a reducing GP. Therefore, I have just made an assumption here 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 7. If the extreme terms are multiplied by 4, if this is multiplied by 4, we will get it as 16. If this is multiplied by 4, we will get it as 4. If the middle term is multiplied by 5, we will get it as 10 and they are saying the resulting sequence is in AP. Just see whether this is in AP or not. 16, 10, 4. 10 minus 16 is equal to 4 minus 10. Yes, of course, this is in AP. That means to say we are inching towards the answer. Resulting terms form an AP. Then sum of infinite terms of GP is our assumptions, our predictions are correct. That means to say we can straight away say yes infinity is equal to a by 1 minus r, a is first term that is 4 divided by 1 minus r that is 1 minus 1 by 2. Is that correct? So, what is that equal to? That is equal to 8. See dear student how simple the problem is and of course, no need to mention option D is correct. How simple the problem is. Now, Suppose I do not know this, I do not know this logic, how to analyze the question. Come back, sum of infinite GP, Indian infinite GP for sum of first three terms is 7, as sum of first three terms itself is 7, option B is ruled out, right. And then you have to analyze 12, 16 and 8, you can start guessing. Usually if you see, when this is removed, sum of first three terms itself is the major contributor for the infinite GP. Got it dear students? Yes, please make a note of this. Now we shall go to the next problem. Let us talk about the basics of mathematics. Consider two positive quantities. Let us say A and B are those two positive quantities. If A plus B is C, 
then it is a matter of common sense that A is less than C and B is also less than C. Do you agree with me? A plus B is C, then A is less than C and B is less than C. This you should have studied in your primary school. Concept number two. Consider a fraction x by y. x by y is a fraction, then x by 2y is also a fraction, then x by y is always greater than x by 2y. Do you agree with me? The denominator increases, then the value of that fraction decreases. This also you should have studied in your primary school or middle school. Now, we are talking about a problem which is given in one of the entrance exam and we are trying to solve the problem by just using some common sense. Look at this dear students. It is given that pi power 4 by 90 is 1 by 1 power 4 plus 1 by 2 power 4 plus 1 by 3 power 4 up to infinity. Then 1 by 1 power 4 plus 1 by 3 power 4 plus 1 by 5 power 4 plus 1 by 7 power 4 up to infinity is. Option A is pi power 4 by 96. Option B is pi power 4 by 45. And option C is 89 pi power 4 by 90. And option D is pi power 4 by 46. Look at this dear students. Pi power 4 divided by 90 is equal to 1 over 1 power 4, 1 over 1 power 4 plus 1 over 2 power 4 plus 1 over 3 power 4 plus 1 over 4 power 4 plus 1 over 5 power 4 and so on. Do you agree with me? Now, what is required? Look at this dear students. Let us segregate the terms. We require 1 by 1 power 4 plus 1 by 3 power 4 plus 1 by 5 power 4 plus 1 by 7 power 4 and so on. This summation is what required to us. This is what we have to find out. Do you agree with me? This is a part of pi power 4 by 90. That means to say 1 by 1 power 4, 1 by 1 power 4 plus 1 by 3 power 4, 1 by 5 power 4 and so on. This must be less than this because this plus 1 by 2 power 4 plus 1 by 4 power 4 and so on will contribute to pi power 4 by 90. Therefore, this summation must be less than pi power 4 by 90. Now, search for the options which are less than pi power 4 by 90. As denominator increases, value of the determine, value of that particular summation decreases. Therefore, option A looks like correct. Let us not conclude option A itself as correct. Let us see about B, C and D. Pi power 4 by 45 is 2 times pi power 4 by 90. This is twice of this. So, this is impossible. And 89 pi power 4 by 90 is highly impossible because 89 times pi power 4 by 90 is a very big number. We wanted some number less than this. And of course, pi power 4 by 46 is also impossible because 46 is less than 90. That clearly says only option A is correct. See how simple it is. This I have taken from one of the entrance exams. But you will not be always very lucky to get an answer like this. Sometimes you should have to work out. Then what you have to do is, if there are more than one options with this kind of values, less than pi power 4 by 90, then you take 1 by 2 power 4 plus 1 by 4 power 4 separately Take 1 by 2 power 4 common, you will get a form like this and you can simplify that. Right? You will not get a form like this, you will get a form as 1 by 2 power 4 plus 1 by 4 power 4. If you take 1 common, 2 com 2 power 4 common, you will get back like pi power 4 by 90 expression that you can simplify and do it. Got it dear students? It is a very, very simple problem. I hope you have understood this. Option A is correct. Now, let us go to the next problem. Dear students, by just using common sense, we can solve even higher level problems also. 
Let us look into a problem like this. The problem is 66666 whole square plus 888 is equal to option A 4 by 9 into 10 power n minus 1, option B 4 by 9 into 10 power 2 n minus 1, option C is 4 by 9 into 10 power n minus 1 whole square and option D is 4 by 9 into 10 power 2 n minus 1. Dear students, instead of adding n digits for both, what I will do is, I will just take one digit that means to say, I am making n is equal to 1. If n is equal to 1, we will get 6 square here. Do you agree with me? This is 6 square plus, I am taking only one number, one digit, therefore 6 square plus 8. What is 6 square plus 8? 6 square plus 8 is 36 plus 8, that is equal to 44. So now, let us put n is equal to 1 in each of the options. What is option A? Option A is given by 4 by 9 into 10 power n minus 1. What is 10 power n? 10 power 1. 10 minus 1, that is 9, that is equal to 4. Therefore, option A is ruled out. Do you agree with me? What about option B, dear students? Look at option B. Option B is 4 by 9 into, into 10 power 2n minus 1. What is 10 power 2n? 100. 100 minus 1. 10 power 2 into 1, 10 square, 100 minus 1, 99. So, this is 9, this is 99, 9 11s are 99, this is 44. Option B looks like correct, right? Let us see. But what about option C and option D? What about option C? So, we have 4 by 9 into 10 power n minus 1 whole square. That is 4 by 9 into 10 power n minus 1 is 10 minus 1, 9 square. That is 81. What you will get here? 9, 9 is 81. So, you will get 36. Therefore, that is also ruled out. As option B is correct, option D should be wrong. The reason is option B and D are one and the same except you have a square there. Directly we can rule out that option. Therefore, only option B is correct that is 4 by 9 into 10 power 2 n minus 1. I hope dear students you have followed this. Now let us go to the next problem. Mm -hmm.